always with the research. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hi, Andrew Andrew. We're outside of the Second Stage Theater about to see Sex with Strangers. It stars, among others, Billy Magnuson. But Billy is no stranger to us. In fact, we just performed with him last night in a rock and roll extravaganza. Also stars Anna Gunn. You might know her from Breaking Bad, mm -hmm. Skyler, and directed by David Schwimmer. It's about a sex blogger. Oh, who... I, lo I love this crop of like internet theater shows. Yeah. So this is like somebody who has sex and documents his conquests. Yeah. After. You know what? If it wasn't for the pedigree of people involved in it, I would be scared. It, of this. it sounds like Fifty Shades of Nay. Okay. People are like, "What are you doing there?" I'm like, "Uh, seeing sex with strangers." So to recap the plot, this is about uh, what happens when the bad boy of literature comes face to face with his academic idol in a remote secluded writer's retreat. And it's about the intergenerational psychosexual game of cat and mouse that they play with each other. With the internet as its subject matter, this show is not just about right now, it's written for right now and for the audience of right now. Only till the very, very end of act one was there any sort of tension. I know! I, 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 well, I, I, did you know something was going to go wrong? It feels sort of like a Venus in fur. All seems to be going too well, and then at the very end, it, a it, shoe right, drops. He's too good to be true. He's, the writing in this show can be a writer writing about writing. And since the two characters are writers, they get into these writerly debates about writing that can go on a bit too long. It, that being said, I laughed more sincerely and spontaneously about 20 minutes into this show than I have in a long time. I, Great performances all around. You, so, you can't help but to fall in love with both of these characters. Billy's boundless boyish charm is undiminished since last we saw him. He really is good at like taking his shirt off and making funny noises and jumping around stage. So far, Sex with Strangers is so good, I can't help but make this one night stand go on for another Oh, that's act. good. Yeah, right? So we're out, and if I was to summarize this play in one sentence, I would say, a famous penis falls in love with a beautiful mind. I thought the second half would go quite differently than it did. and much more subtle in the second act. And not very, um, not very black and white. Lots of grays. Mm -hmm. At least 50 shades least of gray. Damn it! I was gonna say that! Uh, not unlike this, this play's seemingly shallow protagonist, this play minds deeper emotional and intellectual depths than you think possible. Especially when they mention the restaurants in Chicago, they don't go with the easy one, Alinea, they mention Moto, but that's a really deep <laughs> reference. It's a heartfelt, warm story about privacy, trust, uh, what it means to be successful, what we're willing to sacrifice for success. Ironically, the thing that the internet gets criticized for when it comes to writing, which is that it's too brief is the one thing that I would criticize this show for being, which is it's a bit too long. That being said, would I recommend this to just about anyone? Absolutely. Andrew, I'm giving you the green light for Sex with Strangers. Uh, two green lights, Sex with Strangers at Second Stage Theater.